why that wasn't perhaps the version that we want to play and why we want to change it is um, when we play romantic music and when we're looking at this impromptu by Schubert, we want to think about voicing. And if we just look at the notes and if we just play the notes, we can get the voicing completely out of sync and out of balance. And what happened there, and we've definitely heard people play that um, in that way where you kind of emphasize um, the wrong part, or in this case, the inner voice. So that was just too loud and it was completely not balanced um, with the rest. So a lot of what we'd be doing in this Schubert impromptu would be trying to get this melody to sing out and the top to sing out and to actually make this middle voice um, soft and like an accompaniment figure. We almost want to imagine like this is what we're singing. And in other places, we could be bringing this out. So making sure that comes out um, in the voicing rather than as we demonstrated um, perhaps student kind of example at the beginning of this. So we want to keep that voice uh, really soft. And if we do that, it's really going to be showing us this balance of right hand is our melody. We can imagine it's the singer, perhaps. Um, we can have another singer down on the bass. And the middle is our accompaniment. So it could even be like an accompaniment instrument, perhaps. The two singers and then the piano in the middle. So we need to kind of imagine that and play that out with our fingers to get the voicing. had a little bit of um, more on melody that we wanted to bring out. So all of these phrasing and all of these nuances are very important, um, especially at the higher and more advanced levels. Um, for anyone who has ever done Amy B and who has ever come across level three Amy B and um, the diplomas and also level two from fifth grade to eighth grade, it becomes very important to look at the musical nuances, the phrasing, voicing and stylistic um, content that way.